Coach, uh, a lot of times we ask the players after their rookie season, you know, what did you learn as you move into year two? For you, last year was kind of like a rookie season. It was a rookie so uh, I'll throw that at you. What did you learn and what are you looking forward to in year two? A lot. Learned a lot. You know, just the difference in the college game and the NFL game is matchup oriented in the NFL. And there's also the component of you play the same team more than more than once. You know, that's that's rare in college. But obviously we play our divisional teams uh, twice and you know we played uh, played Kansas City twice last year so that's a different component and, and learning how to be flexible in that space and, and being able to give multiple looks and, and correct your mistakes and really try to identify the mistakes that they didn't identify last time you know because these coaches will find them so it's been a, a, a great learning experience but I would definitely say the matchup parts part of things and just playing the, the uh, opponents multiple times were the biggest differences from the college game to the pro game. What did you do this offseason to prepare for year two and knowing that T.A., who you worked very closely with last year, has been elevated to defensive coordinator? Not that you're not going to work with him, but you guys were almost like a unit, it felt like. Right, absolutely. And we're still a unit. You know, he's, he's a secondary coach. Uh, by, by trade and, yeah. and so he'll remain a secondary coach but there is more responsibility on my shoulders certainly and really just prepare it the same way uh, last year I, I, you know reflection and, and study study offenses in the offseason what's trending in the NFL and, and where can we get better uh, what were our deficiencies uh, what do we do well you know and, and again what mistakes did we make last year that that offenses did not capitalize on so a lot of my process didn't change much in terms of all seasons, just when, when the actual meeting time came, you know, more responsibility there and just preparation for meetings and things like that. What's it like not having Joe Hayden, someone who was a veteran guy that not just in the secondary, but everyone on the defense kind of looked to as he knew what to do. Right. Joe was awesome. Let, let me just say that you talk about me being a rookie NFL coach last year. Joe was awesome. Uh, he, he taught me a lot of those differences between the college game and between the pro game and how to approach players and everything like that. And, and I, I'll miss Joe tremendously as a person and, and just as a player. I mean, I can't say enough great things about his personality. I don't know if he's if he's ever had a bad day. Yeah. And uh, so we'll all miss Joe and uh, but j just him being around and his energy that he brought every day and there was an eagerness to, to learn. You know, he wanted to know whatever it was that I wanted that I had to teach him, and uh, we'll, we'll definitely miss him around here. Who's stepping up in the secondary and maybe filling that void? That, that's one of the things that I can honestly say was a blessing for me as a, as a first year NFL coach is that we had a great room. We talk about Joe, but I mean, you take guys like Minka, I mean, they're, they're great people. Uh, Cam Sutton, great person. Terrell Edmonds, great person. I mean, we just have great people in our organization. We have great people in our DB room, and all of them have been a pleasure to work with. Akello Weatherspoon is a person that has just blossomed. You know, he kind of came in at the last minute and it was kind of, it was a rush job during the season, but the same way we saw his play evolve during the year, his personality has evolved and he, he's just a pleasure to be around and even the younger guys like like JP and Jay Lane, we just, I'm just blessed that we have a great room here. So it's really collectively, it's great energy in our room. What was it like going through free agency knowing that guys like Akello, Terrell had the option to leave? You're probably glad they stayed and right. also acquiring Levi Wallace. Yeah, it was it was it was awesome to get those guys back that, that we did retain. And to your point of the differences in the college game and the pro game, that was one of the differences that, you know, from from a coach you just kinda have to be prepared to teach whoever shows yeah. up. And you, you do develop personal relationships with guys and you know, there was a personal relationship with Spoon. There was a personal relationship with Rail. Uh, but from a business standpoint, it just doesn't always work out. So you just kind of hope for the best. And you put trust in, in, the, in the front office that everyone would do their job at a high level. And, and we'll show up at camp with the right, right ingredients, you know, to, to cook a great meal. All right, lastly for you, what's the one thing you want to see the secondary accomplish in 2022? The one thing, I don't know if I can just say one thing. That's a, you pinning me down. I'm not an over talker, but I don't know if I can say one thing. I, I would definitely say we have to be great talkers. 
we have to be great tacklers. I mean, when we miss tackles in the secondary, they normally result in explosive plays and then a lot of times touchdowns. So we have to be great tacklers. That's been a, a focus of ours in the offseason. Uh, we like to become better communicators. Uh, we're pretty solid pre-snap, but post-snap communication has to become better. And we'd like to increase our takeaways. You know, we, we, we kind of came alive down the stretch, but we don't, we don't want to get off to a slow start this year. We want to catch. We, we like to say we, don't, we won't miss our layups. This is not the league where you can miss a layup. We want to catch every ball that we have a chance to catch, and then we want to actually intercept some balls, you know, that we have a chance to intercept. All right, awesome. Thank you very much. Okay, all right, thank you.